Yeah, the whole speed futuring session I think was so valuable because as we talked about in that session, a lot of times going to conferences is that passive experience. So while we each bring our own backgrounds and expertise into it, oftentimes we're sitting there learning from others, whereas all of us have so much to share and so much to gain from the insights and the knowledge and the backgrounds that we have, that then to have it collaborative and to have it a little bit more just organic in nature and just to share those thoughts and think of what the possibilities are, not only in our own lives and industries, but just for the future of the world as a whole, is what really excites me. I think using the six tracks of the conference was a nice framework, but I think the value of the session was that, again, it stayed very organic in nature. Um, people had that framework, but then could make of it and define it as they wanted to. So they could take a topic like Earth, and they turned it into the future of food and the future of farming. Or they could take a topic like humanity and something that may seem to run counter to that, which is the whole idea of virtual reality, is still then looped in. So it's not just what's taken at face value, which is always interesting to then see all of those different perspectives and their take on what the future of the world could look like. The biggest thing for us is just capitalizing, I think, on the energy of that session. Um, it's always very fulfilling as a futurist to see everyone get getting so excited about future scenarios and future possibilities. And in my job, I then try to harness that energy and then think of what the direct implications are for our clients, um, which are large Fortune 100, 500 corporations and um, large trade organizations. So it all helps kind of inform my own vision as to what the future could be and then what those direct implications are. I'm clearly a big advocate for all things World Future Society related. There are very few conferences like this that exist. And again, it's there are so many generations represented, there are so many different industries represented, that then again, to harness that energy and that diversity, and not only that diversity of background, but that diversity of thought is so important. There are so many or conferences now that are very siloed. So you hear only from people who are in your particular niche. And this is so refreshing because you can hear from so many different people.